Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, y'all, I was actually kind of excited to do this video because I was super excited last year when they dropped Vampire Blood. So when they brought her back this year, oh, you know your girl had to jump on it because this was actually a fave of mine last year. Before we get too deep into the video, y'all, of course, today is a lip look by me. It is Cherry Crush. However, we have reformulated Cherry Crush for the upcoming fall season. Here is what she looked like previously. A beautiful kind of a sheer red gloss. Smells like maraschino cherry. We didn't change the scent. However... We brightened her up a little bit and added a beautiful glitter sparkle to her that's not too glittery, but it's gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So Cherry Crush is restocked on the website. Make sure to get over to Banger Beauty by Mary and get you some of this. This one has sold out so many times, and we just got her restocked with this new formulated one. So yes, yes. Okay, let's hop into this video, though. Okay. Vampire Blood. First of all, I just got to say, this packaging is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I am digging this year's packaging. Scent notes are red berries, night-blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. She still smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. You definitely get very strong red berry notes. You kind of get a teeny bit of jasmine in the back, but the plum is also very evident in this scent. In comparison to last year's, they do smell identical to last year's, so I'm very pleased to say they did not change the formulation. The only thing I noticed, which Bath & Body Works is notorious for, this year's version is a tad lighter, and the longevity wasn't the greatest. I would say the longevity was about maybe an hour and a half, whereas on the old version from last year, I got a good solid three, mm, three to four hours wear if I wore the cream. But it smells absolutely divine. Like, But it is a tad lighter this year, y'all, for sure, for sure. But let's get into some of these comparisons I've been seeing all over social media. One of the top ones I'm seeing like all over, and it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, is it's being compared to one that to Victoria's Secret brought out, I want to say about a year, year ago roughly, Palm L'Orange. I don't get it. I don't get it, y'all. Palm L'Orange has sent notes of sweet pomegranate and blood orange. What now? What, what, what? Oh my God, no. This, the pomegranate is super heavy, but you also get a lot of that blood orange in here. Like this is very citrusy in comparison to this. So I'm not really sure where that correlation is. Ah, I think that sniffles busted, yo. I really do, I do, I do. Now a more realistical one that I've been seeing it compared to a lot is Autumn Drive. Autumn Drive, I can almost kind of understand it. Scent notes are Wild Raspberry, Warm Amber, and Vanilla Birch. However, the raspberry is super heavy in Autumn Drive, which I'm hearing Autumn Drive is coming back, y'all. So you better stay tuned for that. This is a beautiful scent, though. I do like this scent a lot. It's very, very raspberry heavy. But you also got amber and woody notes that are in the background. But this is predominantly raspberry and a good raspberry. But in comparison to vampire blood, this smells so berry heavy. Very berry heavy. Whereas in this, it's almost this is like a mixed berry with that plum. Whereas in this, it's most, it's definitely, definitely a raspberry. So yes, they're both berries. But this is like raspberry heavy, and this one's that mixed berry with plum. So they are different. These are not the same, y'all. They're not. The last one that I want to talk about really quickly, because I have seen this a few different places, is Pomegranate Sky from Victoria's Secret. I 
love this scent. Absolutely love this scent. Scent notes are sugared iris fades into ambered woods. But it also has a very deep candied pomegranate note, and I love that. The pomegranate that's in here is very different from the pomegranate that's in Palm L'Orange. It's a more candied pomegranate. It's a beautiful scent in comparison to Vampire Blood. I can kind of see the correlation because the way that they candied that pomegranate in here almost comes across like a mixed berry plum, but it still has a distinctive pomegranate note. So would I say that they're similar? Yes. But this has that, that pomegranate note that's definitely candied. It's absolutely beautiful. Whereas this is kind of brighter in comparison with that mixed berry and plum. So would they layer together? Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on Vampire Blood, at least this year's version. I Like I said in the beginning of the video, y'all, it definitely is lighter than last year's version. I feel like last year's version packed a bit of a punch, whereas this one... It is pretty packaging, but it ain't gonna matter for shit if what's inside ain't kicking what it needs to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but it still is a pretty scent. I imagine if you did layer the cream with this, it probably would last longer. I have not gotten my hands on the cream, nor do I know if I will, because I still have the cream from last year's version. So... I don't know, yo. I don't know. I don't know. But what about you? Did you smell this year's version of Vampire Blood? What did you think? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you get over to Banger Beauty by Mary and check out this year's new version of Cherry Crush. She's freaking gorgeous, yo. Like, absolutely beautiful. The scent on this one slays me. It literally smells like you just stuck your whole face in a jar of maraschino cherries, and I freaking love it. Yeah, definitely get over to Banger Beauty by Mary and get you one of these for fall. And uh, we're at my favorite part, y'all. Ready, 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 ready? Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you learn every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.